Hello student. <clears throat> we are starting with chapter second chapter of a chemistry that is solution. Now in this chapter of a solution uh, we are also dealing with the colligative property but initially I am only going to talk about what is solution. Now <clears throat> when I say solution Solution consists of two things. One is solute and other is solvent. One is solute, other is solvent. Let's take a, or let's talk about one example of a solution. Okay. Suppose I take a vessel. In that vessel, I put some amount of water right and in this water I add some amount of sugar okay once the sugar get dissolved in this it become a solution right but if sugar does not dissolve suppose if you add something and it does not dissolve then we can call that as a solution so solution we can call only when that substance which is added get dissolved in that okay so this is solution now student can you tell me in this solution which part is called solute whom we type can call solute obviously this sugar is called solute and this water which is present over here this will be called as solvent and this will be called as solute right now if i have to define what is solution what is solute how, what is solvent how we are going to define that let's understand a solution is a homogeneous mixture of solute and solvent solution is a homogeneous mixture you understand what is homogeneous homogeneous means uh, let's understand with example <clears throat> when I add salt in water the salt get dissolved and and the solution which is prepared out of that in that we can't find uh, salt I mean we can't see salt if you show someone and ask what is that he will say it is water until unless he tastes that okay so homogeneous solution is a one when we add the other substance it become single substance it become in one phase then it is called as homogeneous and one uh, other thing that is called heterogeneous heterogeneous means what uh, uh, understand for example suppose i uh, add uh, oil in water then there's a presence of two phase in that it consists of two phases right uh, we can say oil is the upper phase and water is the lower phase then it is a heterogeneous so condition is if I'm talking about solution it should be homogeneous right now what is solute if I have to define solute solute is something which is present in a small amount in a solution for instance, example, student, I have made a sugar solution here. Can you tell me out of this water and the sugar which is present in large amount? Obviously, water is present in large amount and sugar is present in small amount. So, in a solution, the one which is present in a small amount is called solute. So, solute example, I can say sugar. Then what is solvent? In a solution which is present in a large amount is called solvent. Example, I can say water. I hope you understand this. Right? So if I have to define solution, I will write homogeneous mixture of a solute and a solvent is called solution. Solute, the substance which is present in a small amount in a solution is called solute. 
the substance which is present in a large amount in a solution is called solvent. I hope you understood. Now, next part. Now, student, we'll understand 